Hi, you're watching Chart House TV and today we're going to introduce you to a new exciting brand, Leap Habitats. So many of our viewers and subscribers will be familiar with the brand Ecotech Marine. They're a US based company who are renowned for producing high end programmable aquarium equipment and Leap is their new offering in the reptile and exotic pet world. And the ethos behind Ecotech has been carried into Leap and they're designed to really produce smarter, better habitats by reptile keepers for reptile keepers. As well as habitats, Leap make a full range of products that include humidity and misting units, as well as all of the lighting that your reptiles and plants are gonna need. So LED units, as well as UVB units. Um, they also make a really great substrate that's perfect for plant growth, as well as being a home for all of your bioactive custodians. Um, and they make a full range of accessories, as well as spares. So the question I'm sure you want answered, and it's a question we're getting an awful lot, and that is what makes a Leap Habitat different? And when we answer that question, three words seem to come up an awful lot. Lightweight, durable, and versatile. Now that lightweight nature comes from the materials that the Leap Habitats are made out of. They're not glass or wooden like some other variums on the market. They're made out of a combination of aluminium and a corrugated plastic polypropylene. Now, they actually come flat packed when you buy them, so you have to build them up. But once they're built up, they retain the nature of those material, two materials and they remain very lightweight. That means that when you're servicing your vivarium or you're wanting to move it around, even with substrate and um, plants and even animals in, they're very easy to move around and extremely lightweight. Those two materials are also very durable, particularly once you've built them up. And it means that you've got a vivarium that it hasn't got the risks that something like a glass terrarium carries that particularly if you are going to be moving it around or when you're trying to transport it it's not going to damage so they're very safe and very durable and the final attribute of those two materials is its versatility because you've got um, three walls that are plastic it means that you can uh, manipulate them however you want so if you're scaping your terrarium and you want to screw something into the side or you want to cut something out so that you've got a bit of equipment that goes in there it's very very easy to do so you can really tell that these leap habitats have been designed by uh, reptile keepers due to the functionality they've thought about really small things that you probably wouldn't think about unless you were reptile keepers so the units have little punch outs on the top for the misting system so your misting units can be slotted through which is a really nice touch also um, a great feature and something that happens in a lot of uh, habitats is that you get stout air or uh, there's not enough airflow they've really thought about that you have a split door the bottom door is mesh and you have the viewing uh, door and the lids mesh so that you get a really nice chimney effect it sucks the air through so you don't get any stale spots included with all of the leap habitats you get a bioactive liner which means that your substrate and your plants go in that liner and it means that you don't get any water leakages um, and it's great for containing all of that substrate Another great feature of the corrugated plastic is that it's a natural insulator. So it keeps a nice, stable habitat. Yeah, and one thing that's really used in the states where these uh, products are manufactured are baker's racks for keeping more than one habitat. So Leap have made the dimensions of these enclosures all able to fit onto a baker's rack. So if you're looking for more than one habitat, it might be worth checking out the Leap baker's racks. And they also produce some of this equipment that will um, work for multiple enclosures, which then attach to that baker's rack and make for a really neat off the shelf solution. Now, that's just a brief introduction to the brand. As we've already said, we'll be making more in-depth videos on both the habitats, on setting them up, and also on all the equipment. And there's more reptile and exotic videos to come. So if you're into that, make sure you stay subscribed. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, feel free to get in touch. We'd love to hear from you, and we'll see you on the next one. See ya.